If you like surprises in Elden Ring, deal with massive bosses and also get handsomely rewarded in return, well, this video is perfect for you. In today's video, we're gonna travel to the other side of the Between Lands using a treasure chest, travel to the royal capital and deal with a massive golem boss. I will show you exactly what you need to do to take him down easily and also reap the rewards. Two very powerful items, the first one being the Blessed Dew Talisman which slowly restores your HP, but the main thing we're after is the Golem's Halberd, which is a colossal weapon this boss drops, deals a lot of damage and looks extremely cool. So guys, let's check it out. Alright, so first off, you want to travel to the southern part of the Betweenlands, to the Weeping Peninsula. Right here, you're going to use the isolated merchant shacks quick travel or just go to this place on foot. The place you want to travel to is the Tower of Return. At the very top of it, you will find a treasure chest. In the beginning of the video, I asked if you like surprises. Well, I will not disappoint you. So basically, if you open up this chest, you will travel to the other side of the map. The trap teleports you to the royal capital, in particular the Divine Bridge. Definitely recommend you to first pick up this Site of Grace and also rest a little bit because this is where the boss fight begins. The massive doors welcome you to the terrace where you're gonna have to fight a massive boss. The Divine Bridge Golem. This boss is massive and definitely makes up for an epic challenge but if you want to take him down a lot easier I will explain you exactly what you need to do. With my first approach, I attempted to take him down with a sword and shield combo with a great turtle shield which ignores most damage done if you block correctly, which didn't really work. I mean, you can ignore a lot of damage but at the same time you're missing damage output, you'll basically run out of potions before you know it because this guy literally hits like a truck. So instead what you want to do is actually nuke him down as fast as possible. When I took out my Bloodhouse Fang, a curved grey sword, I managed to take him down fairly easily in combination with a necklace, the Redagon Scar Seal. You don't necessarily need this item though, it simply raises some attributes but also increases damage taken. I was like, if I already get hit like a truck, that little bit of extra is not really gonna make the difference. If you have something like Exalted Flash to boost your damage output, that is gonna make things even more interesting. Anyways, back to the boss fight. With your two-handed weapon equipped and possibly some damage buffs, you want to run straight towards the boss and focus down its feet. You want to hit those as much as possible. Keep swinging that two-handed weapon and you will notice that at a certain point he will actually fall down before he even has a chance of attacking you. When he's on the ground, you actually have an opportunity to strike him in his chest, which deals a lot of damage. If you have a one-handed weapon equipped, you can only stab him once, but with my greatsword, I stabbed him first and afterwards slashed once again, which deals a lot more damage. After this attack animation, the boss will become immune for a couple seconds, so what you want to do is quickly run to the feet and not hit him until he slowly gets back up again, because that means the feet are vulnerable once again. Then you're just gonna rinse and repeat, keep slashing those feet, deal as much damage as you can in a short time. I definitely recommend you to also charge your attacks, also do some leap attacks, but it really all comes down to dealing an X amount of damage and then he falls back to the ground. If your damage output is high enough, he will fall down once again before you know it and you can rinse and repeat this process. Stab him in the chest, deal a lot of damage, then get back to its feet, rinse and repeat. As you can see, this process didn't take much time and as a reward, you will get your hands on the golem's halberd. We haven't talked about the Blessed Dew Talisman yet, now did we? Well, it is actually a lot easier to get your hands on this bad boy. So basically what you can do, even before you start fighting with this guy, is just walk to the right side of the terrace and right here you can find a treasure chest. Inside the chest you can find the Blessed Dew Talisman, which is a reward which you can pick up and avoid the boss fight entirely, but I think you're gonna have to beat this guy before you can actually use the teleports from the Size of Grace again. Alright my dudes, that is everything you need to know to take down this boss pretty easily and also get your hands on sweet rewards. If you like this video, if you find it helpful, make sure to hit that like button, already very much appreciate it, helps you out big time. And of course, if you are new to the channel and love Elden Ring, you should subscribe because there is a lot more coming your way. Right now it's 4am out, I want to wish you an epic adventure in the game, I'll see you next time, peace.